It's checkered flags waving at him that brings a smile to the face of Ryan Farquhar, an experience he's used to more than anyone else on the Irish roads. The meeting hadn't gone off to the greatest of starts for the Dungannon man when he came off his bike during practice the night before, having caught his knee on a sandbag and subsequently clipping a barrier. But in the restart, he had combined 400, 450cc race. He was never troubled and eventually took a comfortable victory. He's 23rd in total at the Cookstown 100, as well as a new Moto 450 lap record. While Farquhar was taking the honours in the 450s, it was Andy Farrell who was to finish second overall for top of the class in the 400cc category. The Dunlop name has pretty much dominated two-stroke racing at Cookstown over the years. And it was business as usual in the 125 race with William Dunlop setting the benchmark ahead of Nigel Moore and Sam Wilson. While Dunlop kept it steady, Wilson was using every available inch of the road and pavement in his bid to take second from Moore. As for Dunlop, he's still number one when it comes to two-stroke racing in Ireland. Less than two seconds covering the top three, suggesting a close four race, although the reality is that William Dunlop's victory was never really in doubt. A depleted grid for the 250cc race, reflecting how the class has almost disappeared across the globe. With no one making the bikes anymore and parts hard to come by, the future major CDs machines run alongside another class at Cookstown if they're going to survive. William Dunlop riding his brother's old bike and prepared by Michael eventually crossed the line less than three seconds ahead of Davy Morgan to make it two wins out of two.